brownie up in some bacon fat. That would be good. If I had a Christmas update, if you hear my dog in the background, I'm sorry. He's going to start every once in a while. So good. Got the splattering. Get the brown is meat up. This is about two pounds of ground beef. I had just gotten a shove of it and split it up, froze it after I vacuum sealed it. Put some out to brown it. And some fattier meat, so it definitely will be great draining a lot of the grease out. Not all of it, I'll keep some, but I feed 73 27 meat from all these. Now, as you can see, that there's a whole lot of fat in there. Some. I want to get crazy now. They export those. This looks amazing. Okay, crisping it up good. This wooden spoon, this wooden utensil works just as good, if not better, than this thing. It's alright, but I prefer this. Back here, all kinds of bacon grease. So all this is, and these contain this mason jar, all bacon fat. That looks amazing. There it is. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's so crispy and it's gonna be delicious. There's a better shot of the pork belly. It's nice and crispy. And you just put it on the stove and some bacon fat. Wow, it's so good. Now I'll put a dozen eggs in the instant pot. And my favorite way of going eggs. Put about a cup of water. Under the trivet, there it goes in. My hair is doing a kind of wonky thing, so sorry about that. But it is what it is today. <laughs> eggs. I'll just set them in there. I pressure cook these for uh, four minutes, four minutes, natural release, then quick release, then ice bath. And they work out great. And 
There's the egg. Sorry about that. nemesis of peeling eggs that tear up while you're peeling them, especially when you're trying to make a bunch of deviled eggs for family and friends and they look like some kind of mutilated thing. <laughs> Here's our pork belly that we cut a piece off of and sliced it into bacon. Now at 152 degrees, coming off the smoker couple leftover bacon cheddar burgers that are going in the microwave and heat it up as part of our breakfast meal with some eggs and some bacon and some toast. Totally ketovore, almost carnivore. See how they turn out. Two slices of bacon. Use the recipe by low carb spin using the egg wash on the top. They look good. It's a mac and cheese tuna casserole from Wendy's recipes. It smells great. Oh man, that's using perfect keto mac and cheese, a couple cans of tuna, and some spices and extra cheese, and all kinds of goodness.